Hey kids, welcome back to Northside Kids Online. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. This is our third week in our series called Unboxed. And we're going to be talking again about spiritual gifts. How God gives each one of us a special gift and he does that so that we can help other people. All right, today we're going to see that the gift that God gives us is called a blessing. Okay. Mr. Gideon's going to go into more detail with that in just a little bit. But before we get into everything, I'm going to give you 60 seconds, okay, to go grab your Bible and turn over to the book of Matthew in the New Testament, Matthew chapter 5, verse 1, okay? So here we go. On your mark, get set, go! We've got another race for you. This week, we've got a marble race. All right, I want you to choose your marble. There's four marbles. We've got ice cream, bumble, blaze, and deep blue. Who thinks ice cream will win? Let me hear it. All right, who thinks it's going to be bumblebee? Let's hear it for blaze. And who likes deep blue? Five, four, three, two, one, go! And they're off! headed into the funnel and into the home stretch. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, it's going to be ice cream, then deep blue, followed by Bumble and uh, where's Blaze? There's Blaze. All right, it's time for us to celebrate some birthdays. Our first birthday is Morgan. Morgan's birthday is on January 17th. Happy birthday, Morgan. Creed's birthday is also on January 17th. Happy birthday, Creed. Then on January 23rd, we have Holland. Happy birthday, Holland. Also on January 23rd is Lottie. Happy birthday, Lottie. And happy birthday to all of you. I hope you all have a special day. 
Now I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite people. This is Jenna. Jenna is going to say our Bible verse for us. Go ahead, Jenna. God has given each of you a gift, a gift from his great ability of spiritual gift. Use them well to serve one another. 1 Peter 4.10 that was excellent, Jenna. Thank you so much. Kids, if you'd like to say your Bible verse, why don't you have your mom and dad videotape you saying it and have them text it to me. I'd love to include you on our weekly Northside Kids videos. Now it's time for worship with Miss Sarah. Hey, good morning, Northside Kids. Are you ready to worship? I know I am. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off singing My Savior Lives. It says, I know that my Redeemer lives, and now I stand on what he did. My Savior, my Savior lives. And don't forget to get up. If you're sitting on the couch, that means you get up. And when it, say, it says, my Savior lives, you are going to jump and shout and get excited and say, my Savior lives. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. God will reign forever, and all the world will know His name, everyone together. up and singing that one with energy, singing it out. Such an exciting song. 
Okay, we're going to continue and I'm going to read to you from the Word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18. It says, but in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. So we're learning about the body of Christ and how all these different parts of the body all fit together. But that's great news for us because we don't all have the same gifts. We have different gifts, but God is so good and his plan is so perfect that when all our different gifts come together, we make the body of Christ and God uses us all together to help and serve others. All right, so in thinking of that, we are going to sing great things. We're singing this song because God does some really great things. He does great things through us, through the gifts that he gives us. He does great things when we come together to help each other and to help others that don't know him. So let's sing great things.
our God does some really great things, doesn't he? Okay, last, we're going to sing one more song, and we are going to sing Who You Say I Am. So I'm going to read another verse real quick from the Word of God. This one's still in 1 Corinthians, still chapter 12, but this one is verse 27, and it says, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. So I want you guys to remember, no matter what your gift is, and it's not going to be the same thing as your sister or your friend. It might be a totally different thing. But whatever God has gifted you with, he has a plan to use that gift in you. So remember, listen to who God says you are. Think about the gifts that he has given you because that is who you are. You are his and he has created you to do great things. Let's see who you say I am. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me and oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun said Before Mr. Gideon comes and talks about blessings, I want us to pray, okay? I want you to get in your prayer position, you know, either sitting down or maybe on your knees or however you feel comfortable to talk to God. I want you to get in that position, okay? Our focus when we're praying, though, needs to be 
on God, not on whatever else is going on around us. So that's why we close our eyes, okay? Because we don't want to get distracted by things around us. So once you get in your prayer position, then I'm going to pray, okay? All right, let's bow our heads. Lord, thank you so much for an opportunity to come into some of our kids' homes each week uh, and talk with them about the gifts that you have given us, to talk with them about the love that you have shown to us through your son Jesus. And God, I pray as we learn about blessings, we would see how you have blessed us, God, and how you want us to in turn bless other people. God, we love you. We're thankful for all that you've done for us. Now, Lord, as we're still going through this pandemic, Lord, we ask your blessing on us. God, sometimes it can be scary. Sometimes it can be lonely. Sometimes we just don't know what's going on. And in the midst of all that, we can lose sight of you. And I pray, God, that you would help us to remember you are always with us. You're always going to be there. You're always looking out for us. You always want what's best. That's why you gave us Jesus. At your son's name I pray. Amen. All right, Mr. Gideon. Hey, kids, and welcome back. This week, we're going to unbox more gifts from God in our series called Unboxed. Now, two weeks ago, we unboxed gifts from God that he gives us. We were all made with gifts. Then last week, we talked about how God uses those gifts to help others. This week, we're going to talk about a special gift from God called blessings. You know what's special about blessings? Blessings. God gives them to us, and then we can give them to other people. So what's a blessing, you ask? Well, a blessing is a special gift from God he gives us out of his kindness because he loves us. Some gifts are meant for today, like food or clothes, and they're temporary. But also, God can give us gifts that last forever, like his loving kindness. God chooses to give us those gifts because he loves us, and when we receive them, it shows us that God loves us. Watch this quick video to hear a little bit more about God's gifts called blessings. Hey there, chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn where we grow and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey kiddos, it is so good to see you. Right, Cassie? Right. Right? Right. 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 Carl? Yes, sorry. So Carl. Yeah? I have a gift for you. A gift for me? Really? Yeah, well, it's not really from me, but it is for you. I can't wait! Where is it? I gotta go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's a new car. A gift card to Chick-fil-A. A new sweater. Maybe the tickets to Disney and Ice? Oh, man, I'm excited! But I didn't get anything for Cassie. Oh, no. I gotta think of something. Here! Ow! A croc. All right, here it is. Wow. I'll give you mine first, though. Oh, you didn't have to. Oh, I, I, I did. It's literally the least I could do. Well, thanks, Carl. It sure is something. No problem. Now my turn. Yep, there it is. Nice. That's a pretty big box. Yep. I think you're going to like it. I think I will. Wait, it's empty. Not quite. What do you mean, not quite? It's empty. This box could literally not be any more empty. Well, did you read what the box says? No. Blessing? What does that mean? Well, I figured it was a good gift for what we're going to be talking about today. Oh, okay. Are you disappointed? I guess a little. I kind of just expected a real gift. A blessing is a real gift, though. What do you mean? I can't hold a blessing. Sure you can. Can you hold food or your clothes? Well, yeah. All right. Well, those are a type of blessing. Really? I guess I just don't know what a blessing is. Well, a blessing is something God gives us out of kindness. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. Well, now you do. In Matthew 5, Jesus gives us many blessings, and it's really cool. It's called the Beatitudes. <laughs> Bees do have a lot of attitude. <laughs> oh, no. Beatitudes is one word. It means blessings. Wait, but you already knew that, right? You are just making a joke. Shh, Cassie, I'm trying to read. Matthew 5. Right. Tells people things like, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn. Yeah, when we are poor in spirit, it's saying we need God. When we mourn, it means we are truly sorry that we ever disobeyed God. 
Well, let's see. Well, let's start with the meek. What's meek? That sounds like me. That sounds like me, but a uh, me that's weak. Meek, we, me, weak, weak me will inher inherit the earth. Weak me will inherit, inherit the earth. That's cool. Well, meek is more like being patient and humble. Mm. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemakers. Blessed are the, <gasps> what? What? Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness? Blessed are you when people insult you? How are those blessings, Cassie? Well, being poor in spirit, pure in heart, meek, these are all things that describe people who love God. And sometimes people who love God might get made fun of or left out of things. I know how that goes. Last time I didn't get invited to a birthday party, it was because it was on a Sunday. And they, they knew I went to church on Sunday. And they knew that. They knew that. Yeah, like that. But Jesus is saying when we face challenges because of our real love for God, God will see everything we're going through and bless us. That's why all of these are blessings. So Jesus is saying that when we do anything for God, we'll be blessed? You got it. Jesus spent a lot of time giving blessings because it was the same thing as giving gifts. Only better than a normal gift we would get at Christmas or our birthday. I don't know. I guess I would steal like a gift from a store or something. I understand, but God's blessings are better than anything we could pick up at a store. Because those gifts only last a short amount of time. But guess how long God's blessings last? 60 days? No, forever. And they never disappoint. Forever? Really? Yep, if you go back and read Matthew 5, Jesus promises that all those things will last forever. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Comfort, mercy, they will see God. They will be called children of God. You're right, Cassie. These are all blessings that will last forever. I always thought blessings were something like food or water or a place to live. Toys, clothes, not having to wear braces, that kind of stuff. Well, those things are still blessings, but God can give us hope, faith, peace, and love. So many things, and all of them are blessings. That is super cool. Blessings are gifts that God gives us. They sure are, and that's our big idea. What? Today's big idea is blessings are gifts God gives us. So let's say it out loud. We're going to count three. One, two, three. Blessings, blessings are, are gifts God, God gives us. Yes! Wow, I learned so much today. Me too. I had a lot of fun, and I'm I'm really glad I got this gift. Speaking of that, I'm gonna need that back because I need my croc to walk into stores. The shirt and shoes rule. This is mine. That's not fair. Have a good weekend. See you next time. What do you mean it's not fair? It's my croc. I mean, you gave it to me. You gave me an gift. empty box with a blessing written on it. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of. Roll TV. Okay, kids, I'm going to turn to Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. If you need to pause the video real quick and make sure you turn there with me, that's awesome. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 12. And I'm going to read it out loud. And I want you to do something special for me. I want you to take a piece of uh, paper and a pencil and write down the kinds of people that God blesses. He's going to give us a little list here, and I want you to be listening for the kinds of people that God blesses, and write them down real quick as I'm reading through this, okay? All right, here we go. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 12, and it says, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He opened his mouth and began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you or persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Now, 
Were you able to write down the different types of people whom God blesses? Real quick, I want you to talk to your mom or dad or, or brother or sister and tell them the types of people that God blesses. Hey, great job, kids. Now, first, let's run through this list. So one, you can see if you got them all. And two, we can kind of talk about what each one means. So we have a lot of different types of people that God blesses. And the first one being poor in spirit. If you're poor in spirit, it means that you are humble and always giving God the credit. If you're, if you're in mourning, that's not necessarily about always being sad, but it's being sorry for whenever we mess up and don't do what God asks us to do. Um, those that hunger and thirst for righteousness are the people who are standing up for what is right. Um, the merciful people, those are the ones that are forgiving others and showing compassion to those around them. Pure in heart, the people who are pure in heart are being selfless and they don't have underlying motives for uh, doing right. Uh, the peacemakers, they get along with others and they encourage people around them to get along with others as well. And then the persecuted for righteousness sake. Those are people who, even though it might be difficult and they face some, some troubles, they still stand up and choose God no matter what. So when we think about blessings, these might not be the things that we think about. We usually think about blessings and having just everything that we need. But Jesus is teaching us in this passage that blessings can be far greater than just meeting our daily needs. But if we show these kinds of characteristics and these traits in our daily life, he's going to bless us beyond what we need in this world. We're going to be storing up for ourselves treasures in heaven. And even though sometimes we might be a little lonely or sad, God is going to bless us beyond our wildest imaginations and in the long run, he is going to be taking care of us for eternity. So thank you for unboxing these gifts. Have a great week. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Thank you, Gideon. And thank you again, Jenna. To the kids, before I leave, I've got uh, three things I need to talk with you about. The first thing is this Wednesday night, it is January the 20th, is going to be Ask and Tell Night. Uh, at our kids' night, our, we our regular Wednesday night activities that we do up here. And what I want you to do, if you're able to come, I want you to think of a question you'd like to ask me or Mr. Gideon or one of our other leaders. It can be about the Bible. It can be about uh, heaven. It can be about God. Uh, it can be about Star Wars or Legos. Whatever you want to ask us, I want you to write that question down. Just one question. I know a lot of you have a lot of questions, but let's just keep it to one question. If you've got it, write it down on a piece of paper or have mom and dad write it on a piece of paper and bring it up here. The week after that is January the 27th. I have to work it out in my head. It is going to be stuffed animal night or plushy pals night. You're welcome to bring one of your stuffed animals. The only limitation I have is the stuffed animal has to be smaller than you. Okay, I don't want one of these gigantic things. And then the last thing that I want to talk with you about. If you're in third grade or fourth grade, we're fixing to have our annual camp in. And what we're going to do is we come up here to the uh, church, we set up tents, uh, we turn out the lights, we watch movies, we play games, we have uh, pizza or some other kind of snack or something, and we just have a great time together. So that's for our third and our fourth graders, all right? And I believe the dates on that are March 12th and 13th. You should get something or your parents should get something in their email about that here in the next few weeks and stuff, but I'd love for you to be a part of that. So, all right, kids, listen, I love you. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.